Welcome back grade 11. This is teacher Riza, your teacher in statistics and probability. Our first lesson for week one is random variables. With learning competencies, illustrates a random variable, discrete and continuous, and distinguishes between a discrete and continuous random variable. Statistics and probability are sections of mathematics that deal with data collection and analysis. Probability is the study of chance and is a very fundamental subject that we apply in everyday living, while statistics is more concerned with how we handle data using different analysis techniques and collection methods. These two subjects always go hand in hand and thus you can study one without studying the other. Statistics and probability is one of the most important branches of mathematics that is often taken for granted by everyone. Statistics plays a very important role in our lives. Without statistics, companies could not effectively assess the performance of their manufacturing plants. TV channels would have no way of knowing which TV shows people prefer to watch. We could not be aware of the death rate all caused by cancer or COVID-19 and many more. To start our lesson, we define variable in statistics as any information, attribute, characteristics, numbers, and quantity that describes a person, place, event, thing, or idea that can be measured or counted. And we define the random variable as a quantitative variable whose value is dependent to the outcome of a well-defined random event or experiment. And the set of all possible outcomes in an experiment is called sample space. Example of random variable is throwing a pair of dice, drawing a card from a standard deck. Variable in algebra is written in small letter, like give a value to the equation x plus 2 is equal to 9. In this case, x can only be taken on its distinct value and that is 7. While random variable is written in capital letter. A random variable could be x is the number of dots facing up after rolling a die. Notice how the random process of rolling a die gives you a random outcome. Each time you perform the experiment, Rolling once may give you 6, and that is x is equal to 6. And rolling again may give you 5, and that is x is equal to 5. Hence, it is called a random variable. We also consider x as a numerical type of data because the outcomes of the said random variable are numerical in nature. Example of random variable, n is the number of defective cell phones produced in manufacturing factory daily. A is the amount of time needed to walk from home to school. And H is the height of applicants for the Miss Universe pageant. There are two varieties of random variables that are numerical in nature. The first one is discrete variable. Discrete variable is a quantitative variable whose value can be attained through counting. And that is finite if the number of possible values are countable and infinite 
if the counting process has no end. Example of discrete variable is the number of registered car, the number of children in a family. Example of discrete variable where in discrete variable are values obtained through counting as the number of owner students in a class, the number of tiles needed to cover a floor. The sample space is finite can be counted because each sample has space between them. Suppose we flip a coin several times and count the number of heads. The number of heads could be on any whole number value. We could not, for example, get 7.8 heads. We could only get the number of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Therefore, the number of heads when flipping a coin is a discrete variable. And the possible values of the variable is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, where n is the total number of times the coin is flipped. The second variety of random variable is continuous variable. It is a quantitative variable that can assume an infinitely many unaccountable number of real number of values. Example of continuous variable is the distance traveled by a vehicle. The exact age of a person because you can give the exact age. Maybe you are 16 years old and 3 days and so on. Continuous variable example where values are obtained through measurement like growth of tomato seedlings per week, weight of pigs after three months. There are infinite elements in the sample space wherein each sample are so closely packed such that infinite number of elements can fit throughout the sample space. Discrete versus continuous variable. Discrete variables can take on only certain values along an interval. And continuous variables can take on any value at any point along an interval. Example of discrete is the number of seeds made in a week. While continuous variable is the depth of which drilling team strikes oil. Example of discrete variable is the volume of milk bought at a store because that's already packed in maybe in 500 ml and so on. While in continuous variable, the volume of milk produced by a cow, we can get the exact volume for that. And for discrete variable is the number of defective parts. We can give or we can count the number of defective parts while in continuous variable, the proportion of defective parts is between the interval because that is a proportion of defective, so that is continuous variable. Now, let us check your progress. Tell whether each variable is discrete or continuous. Time required for a vehicle to cover 10 kilometers since the distance is already given, which is 10 kilometers, so therefore that is a discrete variable. Number two, number of buses in a bus station. Since we can count or give the number, the exact number of bus in a bus station, so therefore this is a discrete variable. Population of ants inside the cave is also a discrete variable. Head count of animals in Manila Zoo is also a discrete variable. Number five, volume of water. Volume of water is a continuous variable because you cannot give the exact volume of a water. Number of pages in a chapter of a book is a discrete variable because you can give the exact number of 
pages of chapter in the book. Power consumption of an appliances is also a continuous variable because you cannot give the exact power consumption by that appliance. And clothes needed to make a dress is also a continuous variable. For your activity, you're going to classify each variable as discrete or continuous. You have number one, number of times you ask questions to your teachers, two, number of gadgets in a household, three, altitude of a mountain, four, dosage of medicine, five, thickness of a book, six, family size, seven, body temperature, eight, amount of liquid in a glass, nine, pressure of air inside the tire, ten, frequency of absences in a class, 11. Growth of a child per year. 12. Distance between two barangays. 13. Length of cell phone charger. 14. Daily count of visitors in a mall. 15. Number of babies born per day. For activity 2, you're going to classify the following random variables as discrete or continuous. Each variable is assigned a letter. Once group, crack and form the hidden words from the letter of each group. Like this, the number of deaths due to aid or weight of 200 pesos worth of pork. K is the number of notebooks in students' bag. U is the volume of diesel used in a trip. H is the number of channels in CMD cable. A is the number of planets orbiting the sun. N is the number of gadgets in a household. And Y is the time to need to solve a Rubik's Cube. So you're going to write down the discrete random variable below the then we have also the table for or the column for the continuous random variable. Then after that, you're going to form the hidden words. And then for your activity three, you're going to write down what you've learned from the lesson. And before we end our lesson, again, let me share this quotation according to Philip Morrison. The probability of success is difficult to estimate. But if we never search, the chance of success is zero. Again, this is teacher Ariza always saying, stay home and keep safe. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button below. So thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Keep safe, everyone.